So you need cooked chicken bones if you're making a stock. I didn't have an actual chicken, I had a bunch of chicken legs. Um, so I cooked these in the oven at 400 for 30 minutes. I'm going to strip all the meat off them, put that aside, and use the bones of my stock. So there we go. I also I skinned most of it too. I'm going to put all the skin and the, the bones, and yeah, there's like meat still on there, all into uh, the Instant Pot. And uh, that will be for my stock. So you're going to hit saute, and you're going to leave it at normal heat, right there in the middle. You're going to add... So you're going to put one tablespoon of, I use, again, avocado oil, um, but you can use um, whatever oil you want, like extra virgin olive oil. Do not use vegetable oil. Anyways, once that read, reads hot, then it's ready. You throw your chicken, chicken bones in. <clears throat> so you're going to want to take your celery, you leave the leaves on, cut into chunks, Cut some uh, two onions into chunks. You can leave the skin on. It brings in more flavor into the broth. Um, I'm also going to throw uh, the stock from... Uh, I had a broccoli in there. Pay no attention to that sweet potato. He is not going in there. But um, you can also throw carrots in. Now remember, when you're sautéing using the Instant Pot, uh, make sure the lid is off. You do not want the lid on for this. And as soon as that says hot, we'll add our chicken. There you go, it says hot. So now we'll toss our chicken in there. Whoa. Pay no attention to the noise in the background. Dropping shit. I mean things. Beep. Anyways, once you do that, we'll stir it around a bit. Trying to get some nice color on that, just you know. Brown it up a bit, bring out the flavor. We'll do this for about like 10 minutes. You want to get some nice color on that. After that, we will add the celery, the onion, our salt, our pepper, and apple cider vinegar, along with eight cups of water. So after just under 10 minutes or so, I stopped it. I added my vegetables. I added some pepper, some salt. Now we're going to add one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and roughly eight cups of water. There we go. So you're actually about around the halfway mark on the fill line here for your Instant Pot. Now you're going to take the lid, you're going to put the lid on, lock it, you are going to set it to seal. Now you're going to hit manual, then you're going to, you want to set it to 40 minutes. Okay, there we go. And we wait. Now it's on. So <clears throat> we're going to pressure cook this for 40 minutes. Uh, when the cooking cycle ends, we're going to press cancel. And you're going to allow it to cool and release pressure naturally for about 30 minutes. It's, after it's done and it's vented, you're going to open it up and you're going to separate the liquid from the solids, everything else is garbage. Uh, the liquid will go into this pot right here. And I'm gonna strain it through this because I don't have a big enough strainer, so that's what we're gonna use. So now you got your giant bowl of uh, chicken broth. Now you're gonna let this cool. Uh, once it cools down, you can put it in the fridge and you're gonna leave it overnight in the fridge. In the morning, there'll be a layer of, uh, of fat that is uh, solidified on top. You can just take a, a spoon and uh, scoop that off, and then uh, this will last you about two to three days in the fridge. You can also freeze it.